Welcome to Insight 2017. I'm Adam Berg. I've tracked down a special guest with us today, Sudeep Hore from NetApp. Sudeep, welcome to Insight 2017. Hi, Adam. Nice to meet you. What do you do for NetApp and what's your role there? I am a senior manager of product management in uh, the Active IQ team. And um, I have responsibilities for looking at um, the Active IQ predictive analytics as well as uh, the mobile app that we are uh, so excited to have out for our user community. That's interesting, you mentioned the mobile app. I, I noticed something happened on my, on my phone the other day. My auto support app switched names, it's now called Active IQ. Tell me about that, what happened there? So, um, a little bit of history. Let's um, kind of uh, go back two decades. Um, and, and, you know, if you look at uh, the telemetry features that have been available across the product spectrum, NetApp has been a real innovator in telemetry. Did NetApp invent auto support? I yeah, absolutely. We were one of the pioneers and we actually started to you know, do rudimentary automation around sending out drives when we detected failures and, and so forth. But uh, the point I want to make about that history is, as we have been growing this product, as we have been getting this product instrumented into our product portfolio across all the data fabric endpoints, uh, time has really come to really uh, we think about what is the core value of the product? What do we bring to our user community? What do we want our user community to take advantage of from Active IQ? And that's why we are going through this rebranding where we are not really changing the auto support part of it, which is the core telemetry component, but we have a set of services that we are offering on top of auto support as well as our web portal and our mobile app, uh, which we are calling Active IQ. And Active IQ is, is not just on tap. What other products from the data fabric will I be able to pull in data data points from? So we have uh, we have had uh, on tap and an E series. Uh, we also added SolidFire into the mix. Wow. So no longer I have a separate portal for my SolidFire and my separate portal for my on tap and my E series. It's all completely unified now. And now we've got AltaVault, we've got Storage Grid pulled in there. We do have complete integration uh, for SolidFire in the mobile app. Okay. Can you talk a little bit about the, the back end, big data analytics? Like, how does NetApp tie all that data together? Like, what's happening underneath the hood? Right. Um, so, that's uh, probably one of the less talked about uh, parts of the ecosystem that we have. And in fact, uh, we have a pretty big ecosystem, as you can imagine. We have over 300,000 active devices that are sending data on a regular basis. This is, that's a scale that I don't think some of the other competitors who tout their telemet telemetry systems can even touch, right? No, we, uh, we are unparalleled in that sense and, and add to that the other dimension of 20 plus years of uh, historical data. So where can attendees of NetApp Insight learn more about ActiveIQ? Um, so uh, the best place to go is netapp.com forward slash ActiveIQ. So it gives you really uh, the new use cases that we are building. Uh, it gives you the value props and it also takes you some of the, to some of the detailed collaterals that we have around the application. All right, thank you Sudeep. Can't wait to hear more about ActiveIQ. Thanks, Adam. Thank you.